Hello, today two kingdoms will be fighting over control of this river. We have two kingdoms, the lower kingdom, the upper kingdom, and I put the upper kingdom in the jungle biome. The lower kingdom is down here in the grassland, and they should be able to expand pretty quickly because I didn't put a big mountain in their way like I did the jungle kingdom. There's some gold behind the mountain if they manage to get there. I, I don't know what they what they're gonna do with it, but it's there if they want it. The end goal is to see which kingdom takes over this river or which kingdom kills the other one first. The lower kingdom is still just getting started, building their houses, getting their berries, mining their ores, maybe, or is that a hoe? Nope, it's a pickaxe. The upper kingdom is doing the same thing, but they the upper kingdom is a little behind because they still have tents. They don't uh, they don't really have any housing yeah, they have one house here oh and two houses here but they they have tents and they're kind of behind they're not as advanced they're having lots of babies but they're just not very smart babies oh this one's kind of slow that's he's 17 and pretty slow makes sense lower kingdom has made uh, the first village and i think that's because they're oh there's tents here why are there tents and they have this town center house thing where, like the government people will be upper kingdom is finally caught up with that but they still have more more of these tents upper kingdom doesn't have a second city yet either there are lots of animals lots of sheep lots of chickens i don't know are there supposed to be this many animals Animals here because the jungle is like empty there's nothing here there's one monkey and that's it it's just one monkey upper kingdom has a new city here it didn't take them very long to catch up with uh lower kingdom but so far i think lower kingdom is doing a little better even though they don't have an army at all and upper kingdom has an army now with four people in it this early on i don't think they usually have armies this early on i don't know either one of them could win they pretty much or even. I think Upper Kingdom actually might have a little advantage because they have more wood. But I think that their children are getting eaten by like snakes. Because this jungle cannot be safe. They can't just be roaming in here safe. There are a whole bunch of crabs down here. I don't know why there are this many crabs. I don't think they're supposed to be this many. And they're in the grass biome too. I thought they just stayed by the shore. And look at all these crabs. There's so many crabs. I don't know why they're just... Why there's so many? Are they re producing quickly the lower kingdom has a third village now and these people are like wearing some type of armor or fancy clothing they're supposed to just be yellow i'm pretty sure but they all have this like chest plate on that must be from ore upper kingdom has this big army they don't have they're not really expanding that much but they have a huge army and they got bananas uh both of the kingdoms have over 100 population so i don't think that means anything uh, but they they're very equal either one of them could win a similar amount of people oh no upper kingdom definitely has the bigger army but lower kingdom is trying to get there i think this was a great place to put a village now they're starting to take over the river and also they i just noticed but they are the first to have a dock and they're the first to actually be in the river so the upper kingdom is doing what they're supposed to do lower kingdom is just staying in this corner they don't want to leave their their corner i guess they, there's no reason for them to leave it it's pretty peaceful in this corner and probably very safer in this corner too but now they can, with this village, they can build another dock and get this, oh, maybe get this gold that I put here for you. And there's a snake. It's a desert snake, I think. So Upper Kingdom and Lower Kingdom should be going to war any day now because Lower Kingdom has finally put their first coastal village down. And they should have a dock very soon. They also built another city down here with the silver. It's a little bit of silver. And they're taking over the crab's land. I don't like that they're just they're pushing the crabs out of their territory like this is not appropriate this crab does not look comfortable and they put this fire they put this fireplace in the funniest spot like they put it right on the edge of the map come on come on now but the, the upper kingdom is doing really well with this village and they're trying to do a farm here but this farmer is slacking off there's nothing whatsoever here the upper kingdom has better roads they have farms and i don't think lower kingdom has any of any of that yeah lower kingdom barely has roads they're just now getting farms and they definitely are behind and the weirdest thing they decided to stick a city here this was kind of useless this city right here but whatever i guess so we're not gonna be able to get much from here
here. They both have five. This, these shapes are very interesting, but they both have five villages and um, Lower Kingdom lost a lot of their army. I wonder if they got rid of a lot of their army or they died to something. Maybe they were fighting animals, but now Upper Kingdom has this huge army again and it has happened. Uh, Upper Kingdom has declared war on Lower Kingdom and it has happened. Upper Kingdom has declared war on Lower Kingdom and this is their chance to destroy them before they get their forces up. Uh, 45 army for Upper Kingdom and 30 for Lower Kingdom. So they should attack. Attack now. This is your chance. Do it. It's just a river. You have a ship, I'm sure. Use a ship to get over here. Not that hard. But I still think this will be very, it will be a very even battle if they can figure out how to get across this river. So it's not looking like they're gonna get across this river. I think it's gonna be, they're pretty much even. And Lower Kingdom already has 30 army. It is crazy how Upper Kingdom was able to stick a village here and somehow 43 people live here. 43 people live in this little piece of, of nothing. And they are aggressively fighting over the borders for this river. And this is like one of those actual, they can build an invasion boat with this dock, right? This is an, like an upgraded dock. But this, this little port thing, this little dock is like just for fishing. Well, Upper Kingdom, why would you declare war if you didn't have the upgraded dock? Oh, they do have the upgraded dock. You just get an attack from here. It's just like, do, 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 do. Like, it's that simple. And they have their army way down here. Oh, I think they were fighting. Oh, no. Are you starving? What's going wrong with you? I think you're starving. But this looks like the plague. It looks like he's sick. Maybe he, they fought a snake and he got venom poisoning. Yeah, I think that's what it is. But are they waiting for to send these troops out or something? They're waiting for a boat. Okay, I have hope that this is a boat getting ready to invade. Um, It looks like it. Looks like the army is invading because this war has gone on for uh, 15 years. Sudden clash has gone on for 15 years and, and there's been no casualties. So please invade. Use your boat and go over here not that far you just draw a line and, and you're there and you can invade and you can do all the things yes there's 38 passengers there's 38 army people in here so they should invade with this i think they are waiting for the materials to make a boat but that's so weird why upper would declare war if they didn't have a boat and this farm is flourishing this whole city is flourishing and lower is doing better here they have a, they have a mine here i'm not sure what they're mining probably boat stuff oh, and they have another mine up here in the north they have two mines and upper kingdom doesn't have any mines they have three mines actually and then an army sitting here and doing nothing when they could be invading okay boat come on let's go okay the boat finally dropped off their army and lower had to attack upper that is crazy how upper the upper kingdom didn't even have boats but they declared war first they have they have a huge confidence and, and they're being slaughtered now for it being overconfident gets your your village taken so never have confidence and they are sending in another boat too of troops and the lower kingdom is doing really nothing they're just their army's just dilly dallying about like this is a how is a leader also the general that makes no sense and here they are just slaughtering the masses good for lower kingdom i am glad they're burning everything this is what upper kingdom gets don't start a war that you can't handle uh that you shouldn't attack children though this is not okay thank you that was kind of child abuse good i'm glad they're they, these are peasants but at least they're, they're doing something how is this one peasant defeating that general this peasant is a beast he should really have a medal Oh, but then he went to fire. Never mind. Another village has fallen. And it looks like they're finally, they finally have a boat, but they have no army now for the boat, so it's pointless. Oh, it looks like they're, they're, oh no. Lower Kingdom is extremely efficient. They're even attacking from down here, maybe. Yeah, there's 29 people in here. Are they just waiting for this one guy to come and attack them? Okay. And their main army, and they've kind of been defeated here, but they, oh, and they, it, they really didn't kill off much of not really much happened there but oh no they captured this boat somehow oh no this is their boat and this army is still here maybe waiting for reinforcements probably not but we'll pretend 
This boat also has 32 people in it. Is it waiting for people to leave it? Maybe start by taking back your your village, King. Like, what are you doing? You're running around with a shovel. Yeah, they're definitely waiting. Yeah, that's what they're doing. They're waiting for more forces. This one's, oh, this one's a savage. This is not good for the lower kingdom. And they're sending out another boat, I believe. Or they're going here to meet up with that, those people. This is barely an army. What is this? And this person's almost dead. He's unlucky, he's old, and he's almost dead. That's not a good mix. And yep, here they are loading up the troops. I wonder where they're going. Are they gonna go home or are they probably shouldn't leave the, the settlement undefended. Now this war has gone on for 25 years. 157 have died. At least people have died now. That sounds worse than, than what, that sounds bad out loud, but the context of this, you, they, at least they, at least they have a, yeah, and they just took that right back because, and they now have advanced houses, but they took that right back because that was stupid. Why would they just abandon this settlement? Oh, and they're taking it right back. Well, it's one guy taking it right back. He He's really the true hero here. Stop attacking that person who's innocent. It's really just this one man that's defending this village and he, he really just single-handedly took this by himself. Like, what are, what are they doing? What is Upper Kingdom doing? You have like, you have 73 army. Come on, attack here. Oh, whoa. And Lower Kingdom just lost. Uh, that's what they're doing. They're over here taking over Lower Kingdom. Whoa. But actually do something. Continue. Pro progress. Go fight them. Don't just stay, stay here. Just keep going. Yes. March over here. And they're trying to fight back and they're, and they're trying to bring this army down. It's not good enough. This is ridiculous. They're just switch swapping what they're taking over. They're just single-handedly. Oh no. Their whole army is over here now. Invading. Watch them just switch lands. <laughs> That would be hilarious. And this huge blue army is, is really trying to, really trying. And now they are, no, that this is the capital and it's not defended at all. Looks like the king is probably going to die. Well, there's some defense here and the villagers are fighting back, I think. Yeah, they are. This is defended. That was a failed attack. But this village is gonna fall and uh, lower kingdom has managed to take this village right here and then uh, upper kingdom is taking this back very quickly and it looks like upper kingdom has kind of won in this case because nope they just left one person here to defend too okay this back and forth is ridiculous okay so they have decided to make peace because they realize that they both suck at war and they probably shouldn't do it how are you still founding new cities? Lower Kingdom has just found a, a city on Upper Kingdom's land. Well, good for them. But I think that they both have taken over the river, kind of. They're being very successful in it, fishing and doing whatever you do in a river. Except for war, they failed to use the river for its intended purpose. So I think this is, this can be a tie. It doesn't always have to end in blood. You know, no one has to die. It's this really isn't a failure, it's a win. People, we should get together and be peaceful. And the both of them should get together and be peaceful. You know, they definitely, they deserve peace and, and to live together in harmony. And I'm not mad at all that they suck at war so much. And yeah, that it's, it's great, everything's fine.